Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons The Second Age. How are we all doing? Oh, pretty good. It's hot. Good. <laughs> it is... Jayla is currently melting. <laughs> it is, as they I'm say, melting. hot. It's always hot when we're around. Wow. But but it is also in the middle of a heat wave, so... Yeah. 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 This, this may end up being a slightly shorter episode than usual, but that shouldn't be a problem, because if everything... well... Even if everything doesn't go to plan, this should be our final episode. Oh my god. Uh, it's the um, final boss. It's play the, the, play final the boss music. Champions the music. Go. So, speaking of uh, final confrontations, does anyone want to uh, go over what happened the last time we played? Well, uh, let's see. Last time we... Um... We started in a room with um, uh, a follower, like, I don't know if follower is the right word. Um, someone betrayed by, uh, by Nell. Oh man, why I'm forgetting all he the names. Azrael. <laughs> Azrael, that's it. Nella is the wrong person. Yeah. yeah. She, was one of the, she was one of the leaders of the Sisters of Lolf. She was. Yes. Um, however, in an attempt to... Um, well, st uh, blah, stop her. Wow, I, I cannot speak today. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it, basically, out of spite, she kept the portal open that uh, that they used to escape and um, um, helped us get to um, to the final ritual. Yeah. Um, where we uh, encountered the devourer, well, devourer of worlds, devourer of just devourer. It's of the ever hunger. Yeah, the ever hunger. I knew it was something was eating. <laughs> e eater of worlds. <laughs> eater of worlds, the most generic bad guy name ever. I'm, I'm yeah. trying here. At least the ever hunger is is kind of original. Eater, you eater, of, a little credit. eater of worlds isn't even an enemy; it's a raid. But sure. <laughs> Alright, Destiny boy. But yes. yes. Um, yeah, and there, um, and, and there we also, well, yeah, we found the ritual there. Um, and, um, yeah, basically, we can't really get into, uh, to stop Azrael. Yes, I did that right. right. Yeah. Like, man, I am, um, yeah, and, um, like, that, well, and, uh, We beat the, we beat the, the Everhunger. Yes. Yeah, from the effective barrier, he tried to stick the Everhunger on us to, uh, to defeat us there and then, but we overcame the challenge, uh, it's still in relatively good health, and now the barrier has been dropped, and the final encounter with Azrul the Twisted is about to yes. begin. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, yeah, essentially the, the, the last thing that happened was uh, you put down the the Everhunger, at which point Azrael congratulated you um, uh, and uh, then threatened to deal with you him uh, threatened to deal with you himself before setting his minions upon you and uh, uh, turning back to his ritual. Uh, so, yes, we will pick up, I think, directly into uh, what I believe is the start of the fifth round of combat. Uh, yes. Uh, so. Something like that. Uh, we will pick up as uh, Azrael turning back to his uh, uh, turning back to his ritual and uh, performing the final gesture. Can we be in the combat zone, please? Uh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. The real final challenge is doing theater <laughs> of the mind combat. <laughs> you can't see anything. You are all completely blind. No. Um, uh, he he turns back to his ritual. Um, uh, Activates the uh, uh, the pulsing beam of energy again that uh, uh, 
launches back towards the uh, black hole where the uh, Tharistine's prison is. Um, before, tu- like, at, uh, turning around as his minions leap to action, the uh, uh, two of his large guards mounting their uh, large bat-like um, mounts, uh, the rest of them drawing weapons and, and heading towards you, he turns and uh, you watch as he holds up um, a... Uh, let me find the description of it. Um, he holds up a, a, a black iron ring uh, which contains a universal hexagram. Um, it's a universal hexagram, which is a hexagram that is... Uh, I think it's like evenly spaced on all sides. Uh, let me... Uh, oh no, it's no, it's not. It's not evenly spaced on. It's this. Hang on, I'll paste an image for you. Uh, Sorry, Dave, you can't see this. Uh, it's yeah, that thing. Just Google Unicursal Hexagram. It's that thing. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely not equal. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's it, the the regular hexagram is the uh, one that is. Uh, equal on all sides. The universal hexagram is the the points, but it's like inverted connections. Um, yeah, he holds up the uh, black iron ring containing the universal hexagram. Uh, it uh, expands behind him to the point where um, uh, it basically has becomes like a, a faint halo behind him. Um, and it begins to uh, weep a coppery substance as uh, he activates this uh, artifact um, from what I've described to you. Uh, you can possibly suggest that uh, this is the Weeping Hexagram, one of the uh, original artifacts of Thara's Dune that you uh, had heard of. Oh, great. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and with it, he opens a, um, uh, a boiling grey portal. Gross. Uh... And yeah, like as he 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 completes this, um, uh, completes activating this artifact, um, uh, points forwards as this um, portal opens and says, um, uh, uh, "I've come too far here to fall at this hurdle, so let's make this a little more even." Uh, and uh, stepping through the boiling portal behind him appears... Oh boy, oh, no. it's, a, it's a big explodey. It's a big explodey boy. Please! <laughs> <laughs> also, we just he just admitted we had outmatched him. Yeah, he did. Uh, He's a fucking coward. That is his action, so he will then move out of the ritual circle because he no longer needs to stand in it uh, and yeah that's all he can do I think uh, Elizabeth you are up cool <clears throat> um, I guess you'd probably just say well time for some shock and awe guys um, and I'm going to move to there, which should be easy enough. Also, I'm gonna actually open the uh, the Storm Giants sheet because that'd be useful uh, if I can find it. I was so enamored by your explanation that I forgot to get to look for this. <laughs> It's fine. You should be able to use the search filter if you can't find it. There it is. Right, and now is the time for the lightning sword. I can do two attacks, so okay. one, one on this guy and one on this guy. Okay, yeah, go for the swings. 
No, dude. Yeah, I did. So there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, so first one is against the guy up top, and the second one is against the guy down below, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, both hits. Uh, the first one comes crackling. The first swing comes crackling down against the um, uh, the demonic figure who brings up its its own sword to defend against you. Uh, you watch as lightning courses through its armored form. Uh, I just need to check its resistances. Uh, how does it fare against lightning? It is resistant, but not immune. Darn demons. Uh, so it does. It takes half of 35, which would be 17. Uh, you bring your sword down against uh, the second guy who is uh, basically trying to duck under your legs. Um, the uh, lightning sword passes through his body and he is atomized. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of hoping that I'd For, 40, 40 lightning damage will do that to a man. He is mortal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping that I'd one-shot him because I knew the cultists were squishy. Yeah, so are we. We're also mortals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we're... So well, I don't know that you can truly be considered mortals anymore. <laughs> we have a mortal I, life, man. Technically, I have already died. I, so I, have I. I. Yeah. Most of you so have. <laughs> Except for Grim. Yeah. yeah. Except for Grim. What is dying? Yeah, <laughs> what is dying? <laughs> Wait, oh, when did Arya death. die? Or did I actually die? Uh, no, I don't Arya think. Hasn't no, Arya hasn't oh. died. Arya's gone to uh, zero hit points a couple of times, but. Yes. Yeah. Only me and Clarice have actually, phys like, definitely died. Physically died, <laughs> as opposed yeah. to yeah. spirit. We've been like actually dead. I mean, spiritually, we've all died. <laughs> yeah, we've all died <laughs> a little all on died the inside. inside. When the fucking dragon came back, but you know. Uh, cool. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Cool. Um, I think yeah. At the end nice of action. your turn, Elizabeth, uh, Azrael will use a legendary action. Of course, he will. Please don't. <laughs> Um, Have you considered maybe not? <laughs> I think he's within range. Uh, he is just about in range. Uh... After his legendary action, does does Lyra still have her legendary action? Um, oh. I believe it's already rolled this round or this. Um... Uh, no. Wait. Oh no. So yes, yes, it has. Yes, because it will refresh on Lyra's yeah. initiative. Um, yeah. I'm going to assume a fourteen does not hit you, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, a fourteen. A fourteen. Yeah. Uh, I think it actually... Yeah, it does. Oh, 14 does hit you, okay. Because I've got the Storm Giant's armor class, which is only 12. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, so... Uh... I'm a giant. I'm quite easy to hit. I, but I, I did think it was higher than 12. Uh, okay, so, yeah. It, um, uh, he... Uh, so, uh, Azrael has drawn the uh, Obsidian Black Sword that has the Sickly Green Radiance. Um, mm. And with his free hand that is not holding the sword, he points and a ray of frost erupts from his hand. Uh, you take 14 cold damage. No, I don't. I take 7. How dare you? Okay. I'm, I'm you take resistant seven. to cold. Congrats. And magic, right? Uh, oh, okay. the, the resistance to magic only oh. is saving throws, yeah, isn't is, it? Is it just, it's also only... Well, it's oh. also against the damage of spells. Oh, this is a this is a spell. So. Oh, so I take half again. Okay. Oh my god. So half of seven. Oh, um, actually no, because three. if if both things grant you resistance, you don't get resistance twice. You only get resistance uh, once. Yeah, true. Oh, it doesn't stack. Uh, it, it it stacks if you have um if an effect tells you it takes half, but if it grants you resistance, it only stacks once. Um, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. look it up now. Because it's. Yeah, it's resistance against the yeah. spell. And then I just yeah. have to do this. Because, yeah, it, it, like, ev evasion and resistance counts, easy. but two forms of resistance don't count. Yeah, easy, easy peasy. You still concentrate. Uh, top of the round. Uh, the top of the round doesn't actually matter anymore because nobody has any layer actions. Yep. 
Um, <laughs> oh wait, except it does because we'll be it helps to track turns. But yes, it does. Uh, oh yeah, turn six. It's time to call out the wolves. <laughs> oh, summon the wolves. Um, remind me again what raiding dire wolves are. It's level one, right? Yes. Uh. Uh. Yes. 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 One. Yeah. Okay. Then I can summon two dire wolves, please. Uh, I th are you sure you're not looking at the lower version of that spell because it's upcast? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, your version is upcast. Like, you can definitely summon more. Uh, because you, yeah, you, sh you should, you should be able to have more dire wolves. Yeah, last time you summoned six, so. Oh. I think yeah, it, yeah, I, sure. I think it casts at seventh level. Like, like, isn't it like the special knife level? One? Um, it well, it, it says in it's it will say in your description which which at version higher is. level cast. Uh, uh no, the, the sorry the. The description at your ability, of your ability. Yeah. Unless you're uh, using a spell slot to cast it instead. But, um... Oh, it's an ability? Yeah, yes. you have an ability that gives you that spell. What? Yeah. Do you not remember this? <laughs> it's... No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was a while since you last used it, but it's, come on. It's kind of a core factor of your class, but we'll, yeah, we'll forgive that for the moment. It's fine. Uh, Just... Come on, Luca. Get get us six die rules in here. Uh, yeah. It is. Um... What 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 which one is it? It's, it should be a class feature. Uh, yeah, it's no, not that one. Uh, oh yeah, here it is, here it is. Rugged rugged authority. Uh, no wait, no, that's no, not that's it. not it either. That's I don't think this is a class ability. It is a class ability. Hang on, let me yeah, find it. It, def it definitely is, because it was last time we used it. Especially because if a spell only gives you two direwolves, then, um... Well, we have a problem, because last time you summoned six. Yeah. Uh... Rolling, uh... No, rolling books. Do -do -do -do. Where are my Fine. homebrew books? I can't believe it. We've just been giving you extra dire wolves all this time. Well, you, uh, we had Aya's HP wrong for like a whole year, so we won't question we that too much. We did. Um, uh, range of variants. But she still yeah, level down. 20th and Aya lost hit points. It was great. I, I did, and it was stupid. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, I hit over 200 and it uh, was great. Spiritual aspect. You become a war leader among animals when you call for aid. Nature answers when you cast. You can cast conjure animals as a seventh level spell without expending a spell slot. So it yep. is a spell. <laughs> no, without yeah, the ability, without ex the ability gives you the spell and casts it seventh level. So <sighs> it is a it is a seventh level conjure animals. So six darables. Yes. yes. Okay. God, that was like <laughs> that was a trauma. Way too complicated. God. You got there um, eventually. It's fine. I'm spawning them in for you. Right. I'll move them where I want them yep. to be. Yeah. Go for it. The horde attacks. Oh. A pack. A pack, yeah. Yeah, but horde sounds more intimidating. Does it? I don't know, like if it like a pack of dire wolves or a horde of dire wolves. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> be circled with direwolves. <laughs> uh, I think those ones at the back might be slightly out of your range. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, I will move them. Uh, because what is the range on that again? Oops. What was it? Summon animals. Uh, conjure animals. Conjure animals. It is sixty, 60 feet. So. Oh, well, the, hmm. They might all uh, get... Yeah, yeah you th you can you can <laughs> there, there's your sixty feet. You can make a you can make a front line of dire wolves. Uh, actually, I'm gonna scoot myself up a little bit, and then I have a slightly less greater range. Okay. Aha! Genius. Um. So we can put one there. We can put one over here, and one here. <laughs> God. Just make sure here. they're not too close to the big guy when he blows up. Uh, one here, and I think that's all of them, right? Uh, this oh, one yeah, needs to go back a little bit, far. yeah. Okay, they'll move next turn anyway. So. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, they, do they move on your initiative step? I can't remember. I believe they do. Okay. Um, let me double check. Oh no, it says roll initiative for the summoned creatures as a group. Okay, oh. so uh, click one of the tokens and then go ahead and add them to the initiative order. Uh... I don't have a stat sheet. You should um, do. Uh, go into the go into the search filter and look for direwolf. You should have one. Actually, I just had it up. I can uh, monsters, beast, direwolf. Show to players. There you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, this is like way too complicated. <laughs> you think I'd never used this spell before? Well, to be fair, you have only used it once before, so... No, no. Used she's used it... Have you used no, it you've used it three times. Oh, three times. Oh. Anyway, I can, 18. I can remember one. Uh, 18, cool. Uh... Uh, cool, I guess. Uh, at the end of... Oh, wait, no, hang on. Yeah, you still want to do I'm stuff with Lyra. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got uh... another direwolf to water around here. <laughs> Sorry, we have at least seven direwolves on the field right now. Well, yeah... Uh... Also, Lyra is not a dire wolf. Lyra is a winter wolf, but sure. Well, whatever. Uh, she's gonna move over here, and but Lyra doesn't fight have a cool guy. ice breath, so no. That's but she she, she technically is the stat block of a winter wolf. Still, I think she's even stronger than a uh, winter wolf now because of her stat increases. But yeah, she's quite beefy. Yeah. She's old, big old, big owl. You know what? She's Lyra. She is. Uh, I assume we have <laughs> Big Uh, yes. Okay. And make a strength save. Uh, no need, because Lyra tears him oh. asunder. <laughs> oh my god, you only had... Jeez. They're only little no. cultists. These are like ordinary humans who have just been dragged down here by the big man. Yeah. yeah. And this is the final fuel for the ritual to complete? No. <laughs> oh my well, god. god. I'm <laughs> saying nothing. No, he's already done it, hasn't he? <laughs> The, rit the ritual is still in progress. He hasn't succeeded yeah. because if he'd succeeded, he oh. would be a god. Yeah. Oh, if he'd succeeded the ritual. True. We would. Yeah. That is true. Effectively, we'd be fighting Ferris Dune. But I, I'm, I am saying nothing about what killing these people is achieving. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Again, at the end of. Uh, could be nothing. I doubt that. Uh, actually, no. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna hold his legendary actions. He's still got two left. Uh, Grim, you're up. Well, <laughs> fight your way through the dire wolf pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I am. Uh, oh wait, I, I don't have. Do I? Like, uh, no, I don't have my second wind. Um, I well, will give you hit points at the end of your turn as well. By the way. Yeah, but like, I don't think if something's gonna kill me, it, it ain't gonna make the difference. Uh, when. Two, three, four, five. You know, I'm gonna sneak over here and um, take on what, like, whatever it is, demon is. Yep. Okay. Looks like a big boy. It is a big boy. I'm only. There we go. Uh, so that that is not a hit. Okay. Yeah. That is a hit. Yeah, you guys can move through my space, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm big. Um, like, I've... Like, I'm assuming it's not dead yet. Uh, n I, let me just do the maths. I don't think it is dead. Uh, minus 19. Oh, hang on. What is its resistance? Is... Ah, it is resistant to fire, so it takes slightly less. Uh, uh, if it doesn't die, I'm going to whip out a, a little snip. A little snipe. Minus That's 3, good. minus 18. Minnie's whipping it out, guys. Oh no. <laughs> wow. I hate Sorry. this. The joke was right there. I had to make it. <laughs> uh, he's still up. Uh, you snipe. Uh, if that hits. Uh, an 18 just hits. Okay. Well... Come on, good stuff. Uh, and this is non-magical, correct? Uh, it's non-magical, yeah. Okay, he is still up. So oh you, God, he's got max damage though. You, 
become a flurry of blades, like wailing on this this uh, fiend's plate armor before finishing with the throwing dart. Um, it takes several hefty blows, but it is still standing. Uh, I guess I, I can I can try knock it down with my bonus action. You've already used your bonus action. You've snipe. you sniped. Oh yeah, I sniped. You're right. Yep. You're right. Uh, okay. Oh, I will auto roll Lyra's. Okay, yeah, go for it. At the end of Grim's turn, the howl rings out. Five temporary hit points. I think so, you it's 60 range. feet, yeah. Oh, no, okay, 60. I, I was like, it's I thought it was 30. Oof. I mean, yeah, it's th it, it is 30, isn't it? Oh, damn. Many oh. are just outside of the range! You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so so just just Elizabeth and Kalaris gain. Oh, and sorry, all the direwolves as well also gain five temp five temporary hit points. Oh my god! All the direwolves get all five temporary hit points. That's a big HP increase for them as well. That is a lot of HP for them. Uh, okay. Let me just add that in. Uh, so the while that is happening, the Baylor will stride forwards twenty feet. And uh, let out a booming howl of its own. And... How about you don't? Uh, unfortunately for you guys, uh, three more boiling grey portals. Oof. Uh, that was not bad. And I need mm. to check what the range on this is. That is pretty bad. Uh, within 30 feet. Okay, so uh, um, we'll have one here and one here. Uh, so yeah, uh, three three demons, uh, three more demons coalesce through these portals. Um, uh, covered in chitinous crab-like armor, they have um, big two two pairs of huge claws and two pairs of um, slightly smaller clawed hands. Um, uh, they bellow and roar, but it is not their turn, so they can't actually do anything yet. Uh, I, forgot, I also forgot I'm ten feet in the air, so maybe you can pass through my space. Oh yes, that's true. Uh, speaking of which. Uh, the guy on Grim, or guy next to Grim, is going to uh, disengage and uh, mount his uh, mount. Got the bat. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, as will this guy. The other guy's gone for the unconventional method of being under the. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, yeah, because I had to move the tokens around. Kalaris, <laughs> uh, you're up. Uh, let's see. Oops, sorry. I realized I was way too zoomed out, and I was like, I can't see shit! <laughs> <laughs> Double check. I will spell it very quickly. Because I don't remember how big it is. <laughs> okay. So, um. This guy's like right next. Oops. This guy's like right on me, basically. Uh, yeah, he basically appeared like just behind you. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um. Trying to measure <laughs> and see if I can do something. I guess I... Um, a uh, quick reminder: I can't cast two spells on one uh, turn. Like, if one's a bonus action, one's an action, right? No. Uh, no. You you can only do a spell in a cantrip. Okay, that's what I thought. Fuck. Ugh. I probably I know, shouldn't. Yeah, I was like, I probably shouldn't take an attack opportunity from this guy. Uh... Okay, yeah, you know, what? we'll just—I'm gonna—I'm gonna use destructive wave. 
Um, I okay. think it'll just hit everybody in the radius of my aura. Yeah, 30 feet. Cool. One, two, okay. three, four, five targets. Mm. Yeah. Um, obviously not hitting allies. Uh, <laughs> you know, just, just thought I'd uh, throw that one out there. Yep, okay. Um, wow, that was kind of ass. Mm. Okay, so you strike the ground with a thunderous crack. Yeah. Uh, and they make. Uh, all the ones. Oh well. Uh, con save, yes, con save. Uh, yes. Okay, success. Uh, and this is thunder damage. Thunder damage thunder plus radiant. And radiant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, that guy passes. Uh, oh, and this guy. Uh, holy fuck, that guy passes as well. I was not oh expecting God. him to succeed on that one. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to do that three times. Oh. just realized. Uh, save, save. Okay, so that's two fails. Uh, I think it's two fails anyway. Oh, no, it's it's not two fails. It's only one fail. What's your DC? 18, right? Uh, 17. 17, okay. Uh, so that's yeah. Only, yeah, that's only one fail. Because uh, I forgot these guys have magic resist. So, yeah. Um, at least they get knocked down. <laughs> whoever they are. Uh, no, it, it, uh, the, ma the magic resist uh, for monsters is advantage on saving throws. So they succeed. Oh, yeah, nice. but like... Uh, the, you said there was uh, one but the one, per the, the one person that failed. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Gets prone. Uh, so that is... Uh, I didn't really do them in order, but I'm going to say it's the guy next to you, so he will go... Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. Nope. Let me do this, please. Thank you. Uh, he will get knocked prone and take the full damage. So that's turn one. And then half of that would be... 10, so everyone else takes 10. Uh, this guy also takes 10. Uh, cool. Kalaris, uh, you're done. Um, yes. At the end of your turn, uh, Azrael is going to do another Ray of Frost at Grim. Uh, 16 to hit. Does not hit. That's a miss. Uh, okay, the bat mounts will take off. Uh, what is the range on this creature? Uh, 80 feet, okay. Damn, they fast. Well, are they flying? They are. Okay, well, hang on. Uh -oh. uh, how high up was that guy as he flew? Because if he's flown like that, he's gone into and out of my range. So oh, technically, like... yes. You you can attack of opportunity him if you would like. Because also, I'd like... Uh, oh, actually, hang on. I think it's worth, it's worth mentioning, I have a reach of 15 feet with the lightning sword. Uh, in uh, With that in mind, actually, uh, that's a good point, because he would actually <laughs> yeah. he would actually position to fight you, and the other guy will go... Uh, oh, he can't reach you. Okay. Uh, in that case, he will he will just fly to here. Hang on, I think I still would have been able to reach him if he did that. Uh, what from like here? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I have a reach of fifteen feet. No, he can go around you. Yeah, he can go around. Uh, because yeah, these are smart creatures because they are mounts, so they can do that. Uh, and whilst their riders do not get to attack this turn, the rest of them do. So that is Bite and a Claw against Kilaris. 23 and a 25. Yeah, both of those hit. Uh, 19 piercing and 9 necrotic. Uh, followed by 9 slashing and 8 necrotic. Damn. Uh, and against oh, Eliz. Oh wait, I forgot my... Temporary hit points. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
Uh, versus okay. Elizabeth, 15 and 17. Both hit. Uh, 15 piercing, 8 necrotic. Okay, hang on. Uh, and then con save. To make sure you stay in form. Oh no. Oh dear. That's v <laughs> wow. Come on. Very bad. <laughs> Two, seven. Oh wait, hang on. No, I, I did it wrong again. I have another plus 5 on top of those. That's two thirteens. Oh, okay. So okay. So you do succeed against that one. I keep, I keep hitting regular con, not con save. Uh, oh, yes, because they're listed underneath. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's not the right one. Uh, what did I just oh, do with God. it? Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, 17 slashing 11 necrotic. This one might have a chance of knocking you out. <laughs> 17 minus. Well, 17 plus 11 is 29? 28. Oh, 28. <laughs> 28, yeah, sorry, so... So it's 14. 14. Well, it's it's a 4-up, so... Nailed it. Okay. Boy, am I glad I have advantage on those. Yeah. Even though it's not, it, wouldn't, it didn't actually help me in either of those rolls. Because I rolled the exact same on both. Oof. But yeah, thank God for using the Storm Giant Quintessence con mod. <laughs> And, you know, save for uh, us. Okay, so this guy is going to... Uh... Oh yes, hang on, that's the thing I need to remember about the Baylor, but I think that's at the end of people's turns. Oh, no, it's, no, it's at the start of the Baylor's turn. That's fine. Uh, so this guy is actually going to... He's going to... Does he have bonus action disengage? Uh, he does not. So he won't do that at all. He will just swing at the wolves attacking him. Uh, 20 and a 13. Uh, I think only the 20 hits on that one. Oh, yeah. Your wolves are oh. under attack. Yes. Your wolf Sorry. is under attack. I was looking at the DC. I didn't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the AC. It's, it's 14. 14, yeah. Uh, so you take uh, uh, wolf number one, this one, uh, takes five piercing and 21 poison damage and needs to... Oh, wait, no, sorry. It takes five piercing and must make a con saving throw to take the poison. Okay. Uh, okay, it doesn't take the poison damage. Excellent. It just got rid of the temporary hit points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good work, wolf. Nice. Uh, uh, Azrael will... At the end of the turn, fire off a uh, another ray of frost. Uh, Twenty-five to hit Grim. Oh, that's it. Twenty cold damage. Uh, Twenty cold. I will take it. Um. Okay. Uh, so at the top of the round, uh, Arya, another portal opens next to you. Uh. Please leave me alone. Uh, so yeah, basically, like you, as you turn, like a shimmering black portal filled with stars opens behind you. And one second. Uh... Uh, let me fix this real quick. Uh, yeah, so the uh, shimmering shimmering black portal opens behind you, and uh, what? <laughs> through the portal what? steps uh, a familiar face, uh, along with some other what? familiar faces. What? Oh my god! Hello. B. <laughs> Hi. Hello! Hello? <laughs> How did you get here? Portal! Man, I thought this was gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah, same. I thought that was I, I thought I was in trouble for a second there. Uh, so yeah. Uh, through through the uh, shimmering black portal uh, steps three faces. Uh, first first and foremost V. Uh, secondly uh 
somehow incongruously, uh, a face that you are familiar with that you recognize as Temerity. What? Wait, oh! <laughs> Temerity! Wait a second. Uh, and uh, third, perhaps most incongruously in this shifting abyssal landscape, uh, is a bronze dragonborn in a sundress. Oh. Hello? Wait, it's the dragon! Hello? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. I can't believe the dragon um, is here to help us out. Uh, v, do you mind rolling into the initiative order, please? Yes. Oh god. I'm already. Oh god, I'm already I don't remember the last time I've heard your voice. <laughs> I know. Yeah, hi, Jayla. Oh my hi. god. Where the fuck is my character sheet? Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's in, it's in, it's in uh, characters. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's not. To, I have to select my token, right? party members. Uh, yes. Uh, I can now make this visible to all players. I can't believe the dragon lady is here to help us out. And V. I mean, Yo, also, v. Wow, hi. she has arrived. Oh yeah, Oh my god, you are ready! Holy shit. <laughs> v is. Nice. I'm not. Nice. Oh right. <laughs> um. Fear rolls highest initiative out of all of you guys. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? Uh, so yeah, seeing seeing a portal open and uh, reinforcements begin to pour forth, um, uh, Azrael's face twists into a cruel snarl, and uh, uh, like you 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 hear him just exclaim over the roaring of the ritual. Just fine, I will deal with this myself. Uh, and he is going to cast a spell, uh, but I don't think anybody can counterspell it because it's way too far away. Well, I'm in range, but also I can't cast spells in this form. Uh, oh, yes, you can't. That's True, a good point. Because I'm a storm giant, and storm giants can't cast spells. That's That might be bad. Uh, uh, yeah, he is going to... Is that 30-foot cube or 30-foot sphere? It is a 30-foot cube. I also... Regret to inform everyone that V no longer has counter spell. Oh yes, oh. yes, oh. things have <laughs> things have changed. That is unfortunate. Mm. It's fine, and until I either fail a concentration check or I lose another hundred and one hit points, um, I'll be able to counter spell again. Uh, this might be a problem. So, uh, yeah. hmm. Okay, what's the best way for him to place this? I think he's go he's gonna hit the Baylor, but I don't know if the Baylor cares. Uh, the Baylor does care a little bit. I was gonna say, I hope the Baylor cares. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he'll do it there and there. Yeah, okay, so that that hits. That's gonna hit a lot of people. It's gonna miss Grim, but it is gonna hit all of the wolves, some friendlies, Kalaris, and. Uh, Elizabeth. Okay. This uh, is a spell, correct? Uh, this is a spell. This is Horrid Wilting. An 8th oh. level spell. Everybody no, make like me a that. constitution saving throw. Okay. I'm remembering for once, anybody who's in my aura has advantage. <laughs> oh, I, I already had advantage. Yeah, but all the wolves didn't. Which is gonna no. throw amazing. Oh. True. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no, wolves. Uh, roll, roll them all separately for the wolves, because this oh, is going to yeah. be important. Ah. Oh, every, every single wolf? wolf? Yes. Six, oh, no. Just roll it six times. Each wolf gets its own thing. Oh. See, uh, one of the wolves did it. Six. Two, uh, wolves did it. Two wolves did it, probably. I need to check what his. Uh, unfortunately, no, because the spell save DC is 20. Oh, uh, but they, they get the bonus from Kalaris. Yeah. Oh, they do. So yes, two, two, two of them make it. Uh, okay, so everybody who got more than twenty uh, takes half of this. Sixty-seven necrotic damage. Okay, I have some really bad news. <laughs> that puts me to zero. <gasps> oh yeah, it does. That is gonna. That's, that is a bit of an issue. That is it bad is, yeah. because I imagine that's not a great spell to have that happen with. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have any effects on kill, uh, unless you are a non-magical plant such as a tree or shrub. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so hang on. So, for, oh, so I take the mid -fee. half of that would be 33, <sighs> but then I take half again because I'm resistant to spell damage. So I take. Yeah, like 17. Uh, okay, so. Um, can you delete the tokens of the wolves that are dead, Rob? Uh, I can. Just remember what their initiative is in case I delete the wrong one. It's 18. <laughs> oh, immediately delete the wrong one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's 18. It's 18. Yep. Well, I'm, it's okay, guys. I'm still a giant. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't sort by descending. There we go. Uh, cool. You're still a giant for however much longer. Uh, oh, and as we'll get to all of his legendary reactions back. Uh, that is his action, however, he will not do anything with his movement, and he doesn't just have a bonus action. Uh, so that takes us around to V. V, uh, you step through this portal, um, knowing the urgency of the situation that you find yourself in, um, and the first thing that you see happens is uh, the, the lich cl uh, clasps his hands, and a black... Uh, black burst echoes out from the terrain in front of you and you watch as it basically um, uh, disperses a bunch of spectral wolves and causes Kalaris to drop. Uh, oh, and I need to apply the damage for my guys as well, because I forgot to do that. Uh, did you roll initiative for the other two, Rob? Uh, yes, they are. Oh, um, one of them is not visible, but they are in. They're just very low. <laughs> okay, I see. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, V's gonna turn to Arya and just go, Oh dear. Well, let's finish this. Um, and V uh, is gonna... Basically, um, two like spectral like dragonfly wings um, sort of sprout from her back as I use my otherworldly wings. Okay. Oh, nice. V is going to move 30 feet to about there as she flies um and then um okay uh okay i have a lot of stuff that i am not used to using so that's I'm very fine sorry, but um take your time he's gonna say we need you to back in the fight and uh i'm going to cast heal oh wow oh on right. uh Kalaris and on grim as i use sorcery points to use twin spell Okay. Oh, nice. You. V yeah. is like gonna be a badass in this fight. <laughs> True. Truly. It's like we we needed a healer real bad. We did. Yeah. I need a healer. <laughs> God. That's some good that healing as well. Terrible joke. Yeah. Oh, it is just seventy. Yeah. Yeah, it is um, just seventy. Well, so who? Uh, what does? Oh, sixty feet. So I get it too. Okay. No, no, no. It's no, it's no. I. It's only. It's usually only one target, but I'm using sorcery points to to split it into and two, to hit see. both Kalaris and Grim because they, they're not looking so good. Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, literally, Kalaris is down. So. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> just on the ground. And seventy HP is a good gun. Oh, I did lose my wings though, which is a little unfortunate. Oh yeah, yes, sorry. you will. You do lose your um, uh, status. Oh yeah. That's okay. I still got my. I have my other stuff, so it's fine. Uh, cool. Uh, Azrael will save his legendary actions. Elizabeth, you're up. Cool. Um, I have uh, a question for you. Okay. Um, just because uh, I'm seeing some familiar art here, looking at various new things I can potentially turn into. Um, what kind of uh. Angel was Tretharian's, uh, I can't remember her name now. Oh, the angel was with um, uh, yes, hang yeah, on, let me you, remind I mean, myself. Yeah, because did she happen to be a fire main angel? I don't think so. Um, Cause, just because the art looks familiar. I'm looking at uh, the best Sabriel is a, oh, Sabriel's a planetar. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um, you know what? That still that still works. 
I'd like to become one of them now, please. You want to be a planetar? Yeah, I can use my action and just become a planetar. Okay. Uh, give me a hot second. <laughs> yeah, that does. It does eat my action, but. Um. So. So how are you doing this? Uh, shape change allows me for its duration to use an action to shift to any other form that's still applicable. Uh, the only difference to shifting normally is that if the new form has more hit points, I keep my current amount of hit points. Yeah. Uh, well, so I'll will... still be on 80... I'll still be on the amount I'm on now, which is 84, but I'll just be a planetar. Okay. Uh, give me a hot second to import a stat sheet for that, because Sabriel has a modified one, so... Yeah. Uh, uh, let me give that control of that to you. Okay. There you go, planetar. Thank you. Thank you uh, okay, so you shift form uh, from Storm Giant to planetar. And yeah, I think, and then yeah, the first thing I will do is uh, drop the ten feet. Yep. Okay. Back to the ground. Uh, I think that is going to give oh, yeah, the cause... creatures attackers opportunity. Oh wait, no, no, because well, uh, yeah, it doesn't. You're no, because how far up they are. Uh, yeah. So they they would be ten feet up. Uh, uh, so do you still want to do that? Because you can stay flying, because you have wings. Yeah, true. Um, no, I'll stay flying then for now. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, well, since that is my action, and I don't think I have bonus actions, um, yes. Uh, okay. That is it. Uh, cultists. Uh, the two remaining cultists who are sort of hanging out at the edge of the circle um, look hesitant, look at their master, and then decide, uh, screw it. Uh, one of them will run in and try and take a swing at uh, Grim. Uh, ten to hit, I'm going to assume, does not hit you. No. Uh, uh, the other guy pulls a short bow with a twelve to hit. Not even close. <laughs> you just, like, you feel an arrow just, like, clang off the, the plate shoulder of your armor. And you just sort of, like, look at it mildly annoyed. <laughs> deal with you later. Uh, mm -hmm. The demons that were summoned, uh, one of them will close on, on in on this dire wolf and try and slam it with a claw. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. Uh, 7 bludgeoning damage. It's down. Okay, that will kill it. I think I put the initiative on that one, so I'm going to exit out. Uh, and then it will move in to flank Kalaris oh, and get the see. second pincer swing uh, 21 uh, yeah that's 17 bludgeoning damage uh, the other one will pull itself to its feet uh, and swing twice again Uh, 13 and a 13. Oh, both of us. Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, their spells are kind of... Uh, yeah, they'll just pick up to uh, trying to swing in with their smaller fists. Uh, it's four attacks. 23, 17, 24, 25. I'm going to assume the 17 doesn't hit. Against me is still? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, five bludgeoning, eight bludgeoning, eight bludgeoning. Uh, the other one is going to take a bunch of swings at Lyra. 
13, 25, 9, 9. I'm still online on Steam, so I'm getting booped. <laughs> Go offline. Only the 23 hits. Sorry, I didn't know uh, another one coming. Yeah, no, sorry. I was trying to go offline on Steam because people were messaging me. Um, yeah. uh, 10 bludgeoning damage to Lyra. Oh, that was wrong. And don't forget your attack hit points. Uh, oh. So give her, give her five back and then take away five of your temp. Right. <laughs> uh, cool, that's the end of their turn. Uh, one remaining direwolf. Ork. Once again, the direwolves have done great job of absorbing an 8th level spell and then dying instantly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they made him use they an 8th level spell. They try their best. Yep. They try their best. They made him use an 8th level spell. Uh, cool. Uh, that just straight up kills the remaining guy. He is torn Excellent. to shreds. Nice. See, they did something. They took yep. out a couple Good guys. Good boy. Move, move him 5 feet right so we can flank for Claris. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Boop. As long as he doesn't die, he'll probably die. But... In the, yeah. well, I, I like. I'm, I'm more worried about Kalaris going down. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a plan, and it does not involve staying here if I can last that long. Um, <laughs> at the end of the Direwolf's turn, Azrael will uh, take this opportunity to fire a ray of frost at Lyra. Uh, Seventeen to hit. Nope. Does not hit. Good. Get fucked. Nice. <laughs> I'm a little worried about Lyra going down just because of her legendary action. <laughs> uh, Grim. Wait, did you skip me? Yes. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. Oh, sorry. Uh, What's Lyra's legendary action? She gives a health bonus. Um, she gives yeah, every round. She she had action two d four temp HP to everyone in thirty feet. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a yeah, p p constantly refreshing health buffer, which is very nice. Yeah. Yep. Um. Uh, okay, I have a decision. Already, it's probably already blocked like, like twenty damage for me so far this fight. Yeah, it's nice. And it's blo it's definitely blocked more for Grim. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Um. Okay. I have a safe idea and a slightly more stupid idea. Oh, it's the Arya idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Arya. Arya safe one. The Arya idea is steel wind strike. <laughs> oh, yes. <Lord. laughs> I mean, well, I this this is the final battle, as far as you know. I know. So. <laughs> Do your cool thing. All right. Yeah. I'm going to move. Uh, where do I... Okay, if I stand here, all right, I'm gonna move here. Okay, I think I can get. Uh, yeah, you can, with, with with the oh yeah, I forgot to mention to V. Um, this place is low gravity, basically floating in space. So yeah. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. I wouldn't have needed to use my wings, but that's okay. I thought it was like cool. fucking depth of the universe. Uh, it, yeah, it it kind of is, but there is lower than normal gravity. Okay, I see. Yeah. I mean, the wings are still down. dope, so... Yeah. <laughs> Everything down here is pretty yeah. weird. Also, flying uh, right. can't fall off, because you can still fall off. Yes, you can still be knocked off into space forever. So, yep. yeah. and the fly speed Don't means you can't. <laughs> so. Alright, I'm going to move here, and I'm going... Well, okay. Give, give me a description as Aya draws Frostbrand yeah. for this. Well, I'm trying to decide if I want to cast Guardian of Nature, too. Ah, uh, we can only do one this turn, so... It's a bonus action. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, but it's there's still two spells. So you can only do oh. one spell. Lame. Okay. I don't I make the rules. <laughs> Lame. Okay, oh. well, I'll just cast the one strike. Oh, um, so Arya is going to draw Frostbrand. Okay. And unleash a wave of cold that rolls across the battlefield. Um, and then she's going to attack... The two, these two right in front of her in sequence. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. <laughs> and then she's going to teleport and end uh, her turn. I think it's five feet away. Yeah, it's five, five feet away from whoever the last target is. Okay. And then flank 
on this side with Lyra. Okay. Uh, roll and it. And then Lyra's going to bite this thing, too. <laughs> okay. Well, roll, roll still win strike first, and we'll resolve that. Well, it's not a good uh, It's a roll everyone against everyone. Oh, okay. You do it for every target. That's not great. Ugh, it's kind of shitty, but let's see. Uh, okay, so the first one hits, the second one misses, the third one hits, the fourth one misses, the fifth one hits. So that's three out of five. It's pretty good. Yeah. Still pretty good damage. Uh, and this is force, damage. yes. Okay, so that's... Uh, like 100 oh. force damage. Yeah, just casually 100 force damage. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, no big. <laughs> uh, one of the demons dies. Oh, that's good. And the second one dies as well. So, uh, unfortunately, oh, you, you, you end your steel wind strike as this guy basically just explodes from your strike. <laughs> well, that's fine. Um, in that case, Lyra is going to move here and chomp down on one of these dudes. Um, okay. Do I, is there any indication of which one is looking particularly bad? <laughs> uh, well, you hit the mount rather than the rider, but the uh, the rider has an ability where it can uh, basically move the damage from its mount to itself. So. Okay. Oh, that's what um, uh, oh, yeah. Bunduro had. Yes. Yeah. Yep. The only way to make a mount viable is to <laughs> tank all its damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she will bite then. That's a hit. Nice. Yep. Uh, the rider will take that. Uh, cool. Uh, that is the end of Arya's turn, I believe. Uh, yes. Bring us around to Grim. Cool. Isn't that exciting? Um, I think Grim would. Um, I think we'd start by giving the the cultist a whack. Okay. The this this poor guy in in dread legion robes, like holding a short sword, like stands to face you, quaking in his boots, and you, without a single moment of mercy, just shield bash and execute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bad. bit bad, but not not bad enough to actually feel bad. Uh, no, no, we'll I mean, yeah, up. they are still part of an evil death cult that wants to kill everybody. So and, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of gonna do like I'm gonna like use my bonus action to knock this guy down. Okay. Uh, with a shield bash. Uh, da, 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 da. where's my athletics? Uh, I don't think he can beat that. <laughs> uh, natural one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Unfortunate. So, like, he he stands there, like, bringing his sword, like, ready for you to go for this, like, massive lunge, like you did previously. You just take out his kneecaps, and he just hits the ground <laughs> face first. Your shins are now forfeits. Yep. <laughs> Your shins are mine. <laughs> Your shins do in. not exist anymore, you, sir. No, they are gone. You you question the existence of his kneecaps. What are kneecaps? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Who needs them? <laughs> you <laughs> you cause his kneecaps to have an existential crisis with your shield. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is uh, basically all I, uh, I do for that turn. Okay. You're charging towards Azrael, who's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm leaving the guy alive. Like, well, that one guy for now. Okay. Oof. Uh... So, uh, you, Grim, you watch as, uh, like, seeing you approach, like, as, as we're, like, locks eyes with you, his mouth splits open into that menacing grin again, and he gestures in the air, and the halo rotates behind him, and, uh, the Baylor turns. Yeah, I should have known. Um, oh, but as, at the start of his turn, uh, everyone who was within a certain aura would have taken, uh... Oh, it's everyone within five feet. So he was standing there. Yeah, there is no one. Uh, no one was exactly in five feet. No one. Cool. Uh, <laughs> he approaches on Grim then. Um, and the Baylor will come in longsword and lightning whip. 26 and a 30. Yeah, those both hit. 
Uh, 27 slashing followed by 12 lightning. Uh, I'm guessing it's magical. Yes. Okay. 27 and 12. Yep. Uh, and then followed by uh, the whip comes up with 14 slashing and 13 fire. Oh, wait, that was the one that I thought it was, those were both attacks. Uh, nope. Uh, so 13 slashing. Wait. 14 slashing, 13 fire. Okay, here we go. It's fine. And yeah, that's exactly the hit points I gained last turn. Um, <laughs> Great! It is. Damn it! Uh, it was a okay. bold play, I'll give you that much. Well, you know, he was going to hit me anyway. Uh, Master of Cruelties will... Oh, uh, this is the first time... Uh... Oh wait, hang on. Uh, creatures died within sixty feet of these guys, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay, I'm Quite a lot, yes. I need to note that. That's fine. Uh... I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Why do, you, why do you need to note that? Why does he need to know that? Uh, they benefit from death. That is all. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh... I, I prefer to get penalized by death, but um, I guess we'll mm -hmm. have to take it. Oof. Uh, the Aura of Bloodlust. Oh, okay, yeah, no, the Aura of Bloodlust will activate next time somebody starts within range of them. Uh, so, they are going to make two spear attacks against Kalaris. 15 and a 12. Both miss. And against nice. Elizabeth, 14 and a 27. Uh, only the 27 hits. Uh... Uh, oh, hang on, the damage roll is not quite done right on this, so that should be... Uh, so you would take uh, 11 piercing and... and magical? Uh, yes. Uh, 10 psychic. Okay, so 21 in total. 21 total. Which still means a 10 DC. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kalaris, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. What's this one's whispering? Okay, is it a spell? Oh, yes, I can fix something for you, Elizabeth. Hi, um... no, uh, it is not a spell, no, it is a passive thing called Aura of Bloodlust. But no, I fixed oh. it, it's fine. Um, I don't like that, okay. <laughs> wisdom, you said, right? Uh, yes. Uh, that is a success. Okay. Uh, I think that may make you immune to it. Uh, uh, I'm into it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, oh no, it. no, it, it 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 does not. It's it's every time. Uh, it's your turn. Mm. Oh okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> um, good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. <laughs> Oh, it's unfortunate because I don't have any second levels left anymore. Ugh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna Misty Step. I'm gonna have to upcast it, unfortunately, even though it doesn't like do anything. Uh, I guess to here. And then I am going to give myself the rest of my Lay on Hands points, because I think now's a good time to do that. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, and then I'm gonna... I guess I'll just start moving with the rest of my movement. Uh, so hold on, let me add this before I forget. I think I have like 15 left. Okay. Yeah, just go there. Here we go, buddy! <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, end of Clarice's turn. Uh, Azrael will turn and fix Grim with a look. Uh, he points it, like as as you're fighting this Baylor Grim, like desperately trying to defend against it. Um, Azrael points at you and um, uh, fixes you with a terrifying look. Uh, I need a Wisdom saving throw, please. Is it to be frightened? It is to be frightened. Uh, oh, fuck, Grim, you're five feet too far. <laughs> Grim, out of range. Oh. I'm, I'm out of range of everyone this today. It's also, uh, fine. Uh. But, well, everyone's out of range, except for V and me. 
Oh, Kalaris is in range. Sorry, I forgot to do uh, Lyra's thing at the end of Grim's turn. Okay, yeah, you, you can do that now while um, Grim's making his save. Uh, well, we're gonna oh, have Grim. to retry that. Oh, one. Grim! It's fine. I, we, we get another go. Uh, it's not possible. No! Um, oh, dog. Do you know what? Screw it. We get another go. Nope. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, oh Lord. Grim making a wisdom save. His main weakness. Uh, Oof. It's like, well, I might some be things able to never fix change. This. I might be able to fix this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Grim, you are filled with uh, an incredible sense of fear and dread for the situation you find yourself in. Uh, you are considered frightened of Azrael. Uh, okay. For the, uh, one minute. Uh, oh wait, is B in range? Yes. Hello. B, you get four temporary hit points, by the way. Don't worry, I have twenty-five, and I don't stack. Oh. Oh. Damn. Wow. Where did you get twenty-five temp HP from? Yeah, we're inspiring we're leader BB. Oh my god. Oh yes, I forgot. Everybody else should have that as well, shouldn't they? You know what else I've just noticed? Uh, or everyone uh, else that came with you. You know what else I just noticed? The Dragonborn's not in the the other the new Dragonborn isn't in the uh, initiative order. Uh, yeah. That will become relevant in a minute. Oh, oh okay. don't worry about it. Uh, Interesting. That guy is dead. Uh, Temerity uh, will take a running jump and do a front flip. Oh, of course, of nice. course she will. <laughs> she nice. she went to study with Lothari. How can she not? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's very yeah. character. Anyone who travels with Lothari learns to front flip unnecessarily. Um. Yeah. And yeah, she she will do a do a front flip, land in a slide, and uh, we, like un unleash a like a barrage of punches into thin air that transform into uh, pulses of burning light. Oh my god! Uh, oh, I don't have her stat sheet up. Let me get that real quick. She just turned it magically turned into a sun soul monk or something. <laughs> Uh, yes, I think it's Sun Soul Monks that can do something. Uh, it like is that. Sun Soul Monks, yes. Nice. Uh, cool. That is three instances of Sun Bolts. Oh, I can uh, I can unwhisper it now. Uh, so the f oh, the first one is a crit. The second one is also a hit. And oh, no, oh. Azrael has Sun Bolts. What is this? Oh, sorry. That's because I'm still Azrael. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, You're fine. still Azrael. Uh, it's wow, fine. That's, uh... Uh, so all of those hit for Temerity. Yeah, as well as playing both sides. Yeah. Talk about plot twist of the century. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, quite... And... As well as bi? Good for him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Happy Pride Month, Dave! Happy Pride it's... Month, it's almost the end. I'm not sure it's the representation I wanted, but thanks. <laughs> wow, yeah. Because he said playing both sides. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is uh, 24 first one, then followed by 8 and 12. Okay, we have, a, we have, uh, we have multiple by people. It's not just Azrael. That's true. There's Elizabeth's sister. That is true. Uh, cool, yeah, so she, she unleashes a thunderous barrage of bolts. Um... The uh, dragonborn in the the sundress sort of like trip traps forwards in her flip flops and it's like um, oh. okay God uh, I I think she yeah she just she just runs up to the edge like looks over at UV as you're like uh, looking looking back at her to see what she's doing and she's sort of like well I guess this is the moment isn't it kind of uh, she nods. Uh, and uh, briefly becomes a ball of silver light uh, as please, she please, please. takes Become her... Become a god! <laughs> uh, not quite. Be a, be a dragon! Uh, she transforms into her true form. Yes! 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 <laughs> we do <Dragon>. it! Dragon! <laughs> dragon, baby! Uh, Somewhere in the distance, you hear a shout of, "I knew it!" I yep. Knew it! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. God. I bloody knew it. Uh, Remember how last time you saw V, she was like, "Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to the regions of Mardan," you know, like in that kind of direction. 
She just uh... found the dragon casually. Uh, so, yes, for, for the first time, you see uh, Lady Hayasa, the noble blooded warden of the Grey Cliffs and Jewel of the Sapphire Seas, in her true form as oh, she takes flight. Uh, she that has is a callback 80... to our excellent beach episode. If you haven't watched that, go watch it. It was excellent. If you haven't watched Who that, are you talking to? why are you here? <laughs> if you haven't watched that, why are you here? Come on, Dave. Who are you talking uh, Yeah, We have one viewer, Helena. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so she'll jump so, yeah, to I'm pretty sure Dave has seen there. Uh, actually, maybe she will jump to there. Uh, and... Yes, queen. Uh, because I can't have a dragon and not use it. <laughs> uh, 90 foot line. Nice. Bah! Yeah. Yeah, that's Cheeky enough. And, uh, and that is a dexterity saving throw that deals lightning damage. Bronze dragons. Woo! Oh, unfortunately, those two both save. The other guys are resistant, so uh, this is going to... Oh, yeah, okay, they also save. Wow, that's very unfortunate. Uh, but it is still uh, half of 75. <laughs> well, you know, the, the one guy yeah, counts so that's, much health you know, less. 37. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 37 damage, that's, that's pretty good. And it's like both the mount and the guy? It does, yeah. yes. Because, uh, yes, AoEs hit both mount and rider. Um, so that would be 15. 19. Oops. I remember these mounted guys. Last time we just ran from them. Uh, these were diff di different kind of mounted guys, but yes, you did uh, you did run from. Th this is the the same guy that you fought previously when he was defending the ritual last time, but now they have mounts. Uh, so yeah, that was Hayasa's turn. Uh, top of the round, Azrul. Uh, uh, I think Azrul sees the the reinforcements beginning to turn the tide. And, um, I think, yeah, I think it's time. What? Time uh, for what? He, he is going to cast his ninth level spell as, uh, he, yeah, he, he turns, like, he, he looks at you, Grim, as you sort of, like, look at him as he uh, hits you with this sphere effect. Um, uh, and he says, um, uh, uh your wizard's quite talented, but she's not the only one who can do that. As uh, oh, okay. he casts shape change and becomes a fire giant. Oh my god. Oh, okay. No. Ice and fire. Oof. Well, uh, Elizabeth is storm, well, but yes. Yeah, well, wind of, yeah, wind and fire. Earth, wind and fire. Uh, and yeah, yeah one more, then got a nice band coming. he is gonna he's gonna thunder forward and he use shield charge. Uh, Hasn't he used his action? Yes, he has. Oh yes, th no, that's a good point. Yeah, so he just he will just thunder yeah, forwards. I, I, I was like, I'm safe. <laughs> it's like, oh no, <laughs> oh, I'm not yeah. safe. Uh, no, you <laughs> you you are correct. He he does he has used his action, so he just runs towards you. Uh, in fact, actually. Yeah. Yeah, no, if he'd use his action, he wouldn't do that, because then he can't use shield charge, and he wants to use that. So, uh... V. Ah! Oh, God. Mm. It's a lot happening mm. right now, huh? There's a lot happening. I'm wondering whether to just feel like, hehehe, <laughs> damage, or sh whether I should uh, continue to, to support. <laughs> what, <laughs> what was that? Hehehe, <laughs> damage. <laughs> well, do um, you, have a, you have a spell that lets you do consistent damage once you've set it up, don't you? Like, I do, but at the same time, like, y'all are dying. That is true. <laughs> y'all yeah, are dying. dying. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to play your character. Oh. Uh, no, I think V's too worried. Uh, blah, 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 blah. How am I going to do this? That's the real question. How are you going to do this? Oh, no, that's touch range? That sucks. Okay, um. Okay. 
Sorry, I need to think. I'm gonna tidy up this battlefield real quick. Uh, of course it is. <sighs> battlefield real quick. Okay, so if I can't do that... The corpses sink, in sink into the ground. Oh god. Mm. Yes. I need, I need to save on VRAM, so I'm gonna hide all the corpses. <laughs> VRAM. <laughs> We just like fade out of existence. It's like ah, oh, I see. Yeah, it's just the it's just the bad guys despawning. Don't worry about it. Okay, no, I don't think I'm 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 in a I'm in a good spot to do more support. So I think I'm gonna move up. Uh, I guess to like there behind beside Lyra, and I am gonna. Uh, well, V is going to um. Oh focus and these uh tiny glowing lights start to circle her head as she casts crown of stars baby oh nice. hell yeah oh my God. okay uh and that's not concentration right it's not it's not um so we'll just mark you as having crown of stars so that is my crown of stars and as a bonus action i will use uh, my 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 crown of stars to to yeet one of my lights at okay who needs to die someone tell me who, who needs to die i mean Azrael probably needs to die. Yeah, Azrael. <laughs> yeah, or die. or the Baylor. Like the I, I, the Baylor is pretty bad. I have, a, I have a, a, a potential solution to the Baylor. Okay. Isn't the isn't the Baylor gonna explode if he dies? Like yeah. right next to you, Grim. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but like, I, mm. there's a chance I don't take damage. Also, actually, <laughs> the Baylor. Chance. Also, that's that's a good point. A but Baylor... but there's also a chance that if you fail the roll, you. You're dead yeah, like instantly. <laughs> like you know, if I fail, I like I like I definitely go down. But yeah, uh, fuck, let's 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 grab Azrael's attention and um, yeet one of my stars at him. Okay. Are the Baylor's fiends or demons? I don't remember. Oh, um, that's the same thing. Well, no, because fiends have a different home plane to demons. Because fiends are from the nine hells and demons are from the abyss. Oh you know, yes. Rob, I don't think I'm going to use my 8th level spell, so I may as well upca upcast Crown of Stars to 8th level. Go for it. Do it. Um, which means I will make a, an attack roll against Mr. Mr. Azrael himself. Okay. Oops, Oops, I didn't mean to post that. My apologies. You posted cringe. Oh. I thought I would roll it. No, okay. That's not been done as an attack properly. No. Oh I yeah. Okay. So yeah, just 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 roll uh, 40, 12. Wait, forty twelve. Don't I need, I need to make an attack? Yeah, oh yeah. You, uh, sorry. Yeah, make a spell attack roll first. Sorry. Okay. Maybe I should use a slash. Wow. I'm really I'm really posting crazy. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey. Hot damn. Twenty nine. I'd, I'd I'd say it's okay. You haven't played D D recently, but that's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Uh, that, that is, is a such hit. A lie. Uh, now yeah. roll the 4d12 radiant damage. 27 radiant. Okay, so so you watch as V conjures these like orbs of light that float around her, and then she sends one like flying off, and it like it it moves fairly fast, but it almost seems to like move fairly leisurely until it like basically is about to hit its target when it accelerates, shoots forward, and explodes. Also, uh, Rob, I decided. I'm not gonna upcast it because I don't think we're gonna have like so many turns that I can use all of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the, the upcasting doesn't increase the damage; it just increases the number, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The number of moats. Uh, so that is Apologies. a whole twenty-seven. That's fine. You're keeping track of them. You get two extra stars. Uh, yeah. So uh, and he needs moats. he needs to make a concentration check. Yes. Do it, fool. Uh, natural 20, so he is still concentrating, <laughs> unfortunately. Damn bastard! Uh, but you definitely seem to have got his attention. Uh, uh, oh, and he, yeah, he doesn't get to use his legendary actions in this form. So, Elizabeth. Oh. Uh, okay, were Baylor's resistant to fire or immune? Give me a... Give me just a... Uh, give me an arcana roll to see if you remember. Oh my yeah. One. For fuck's sake. In the heat of the moment, you cannot recall. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Hmm. Just debating whether to do a thing or not. Um. 
the radius on it again, 10 feet. You know what? Right, right about here. Centered right about here, because then it won't hit friendlies. Uh, I can cast spells in this form. Ah, okay. So, right there is going to be a lovely, beautiful flame strike. Okay. Um, which I'm sure you know, which, uh, unfortunately is no longer based on my intelligence, because I'm a planetar, not Elizabeth. Oh, you're, yeah, you cast it with the planetar's abilities, don't you? Yes. Yeah, but I... But it well, still I uses know. your spell slots or something like that. Um, no, I still use its uses, it's just that, um, its spellcasting ability is charisma. Oh, it's right, okay. Spellcasting ability, but it's still my charisma, which is okay. not great. Oh, that's, that's kind of horrible, yeah, whoops. Anyway. Yeah. But it's fine. Um, because I'm banking on the part, the radiant damage doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Okay, against yeah, fiends go for it. And demons. Um... But yeah, I do not have flame strike myself, so they need to make a uh, flame strike should yeah. be in its statue. Uh, actually, yeah, that's a good point. If I select, uh, here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's just oh, there we go. flame strike. I can click from there. Bam. There you go. Boom. Uh, but it's uh, not a DC not. twenty. It's a. It's not a DC twenty. So spell save DC is prof plus the spell casting ability. So uh, po prof plus ability plus ten. Yeah. Uh, plus. Oh, I thought it was plus eight. Oh yeah, eight. Sorry, yeah. So that makes uh, DC fifteen rather than DC twenty. Uh, okay. Uh, oh wow. These guys do not have good decks, believe it or not. Uh, that is still a pass, unfortunately. Uh, so it will take half. Uh, so that is... I also did not roll good damage. Uh, and damage this damage. guy... Yeah. That is a pass again. Like I said, I was banking on Radiant doing the heavy lifting. This guy does have good decks and succeeds. So half again. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's still a big burst of, of damage as you call down this pillar of Radiant Flame. Uh, but these guys are up, or this one remaining guy. Uh, he will use one claw to try and crush the wolf that he is fighting. Uh, natural twenty. Uh, yeah, the wolf is crushed. Hi, wolf. Uh, and it will move on. Uh, yeah, it'll move on to the other wolf because it knows uh, that it's vulnerable. Uh, another pincer for 12, and then two fists for a 23 and a 25. Yep. Uh, so the fists do 7 and 9, respectively. The uh, fists, not its strongest weapon. Uh, which brings us around to Aya. Uh, okay. I So these things are like demons, right? The, like yes. the, the mounted guys? Yeah. Uh, I think the yeah, they are and the creatures under them are monstrosities. Is... And this thing is a demon? Yep. Uh, okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy with a holy water arrow. Okay. Um, nice. Uh, so yeah, make a make a regular attack, hit. And then what do I roll for the holy damage? Uh, I believe it is something like two d six radiant. Uh, and then Lyra is gonna chomp. Yeah, 2d6 radiant. Cool. And then Lyra is gonna chomp. 
on the rider, I guess. Okay. Pull him off. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, that does not hit. That's sad. Uh, Grim, at the start of your turn, because you are next to the Baylor, you take... 10 fire damage. That's quite... that's more than I've liked. Okay. I will still remind you, you have some things that you could use. <laughs> two of them. I... You do have two big yes. things. I like. I am definitely like. I. I was. I like. I'm considering, and I think now is the time. But I have an idea for one of them. Um, but when, once we get to the break, I, I might have to ask you something. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm down for that. We can take probably take a break at the end of this initiative round. Uh, okay. But I think for now, I, I think we we need to get have a turn the tide a little. Have a little refresh. Of the okay. situation. Um, so I guess we'll just do, I'll use wish to restore. I guess everybody's health to max. Oh my okay. god. Okay. So what it, what is your prayer that you reach out to Tritherian as you ca can't grant this wish or cast this wish? <laughs> my boy. Well, if, if you're ever gonna turn the tide, now's the time. Okay. Like... Tritherian, uh, my boy. Uh, okay, oh, so uh, Grim, Grim, you offer up a silent pr prayer to Tritherian uh, that sadly does not reach Tritherian. Oh. Kalaris, however, what? in your heart, you hear Grim's oh. plea. Oh, no. What? Wi will, you, will, you, will you grant the wish? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, what? wait, what? Wouldn't I? Hello? <laughs> wait, what? What? Why? What? Are Tritherian now? I I, 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 don't, I I also don't see why you wouldn't, but I am obliged to give you the, the, the choice, because... Yeah, no, yeah, of course I will. Uh, okay, so um, you watch as a, uh, a spear of light um, uh, bursts forth from Kalaris' chest and hits you, Grim. Uh, what are you doing with this wish? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to basically heal up ten creatures, and I, and, uh, and I think it uses... Let me double check what it says, but I know it's like absolutely ridiculous healing for everyone. So let's see. Um, where? Oh, actually, up to twenty creatures. So basically, all allies that I can uh, that I can see, uh, which is pretty um, much everyone. Yeah, everyone except the new arrivals. Uh, you heal. Which. Uh, and uh, they are also uh, also oh, any negative effects that can be ended by the Greater Restoration spell are also uh, ended. So okay. I am no longer afraid. Oh, you are no longer afraid, which means you are also immune oh, to the Frighten. Yeah, nice. Uh, and so, yeah, everybody just refill your hit points. Wow, oh, all the way up. Heal. Yep, it's, it's a, a it's a full shit. heal. Oh, wow, nice. That's it's wish, heal. baby! <laughs> that is, as they say, wish. Yes, wish! Yeah. Full health planetar, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, let's go! Also, uh, since it's the end of the round... Uh, uh, is it the end of your turn, Grim? Um, so just, yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I don't have much else to do, so... Okay, you can maybe then... move away from the Balor if you I... like. Yeah, but he's gonna hit me. <laughs> he's gonna hit me, that, I don't. That is true! Yeah. You are right! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yes, Luca, Luca do your uh, temp HP. Uh, okay, the dragon gains four temporary hit points. Uh, but the dragon has 25 temporary hit points. Oh, yes, it does, because I forgot to update it on that sheet. But Kalaris also gets four. Uh, yeah, Kal yeah, Kalaris gains it, and that's it. Oh, Kalaris, Lyra, and oh, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, I already gave my Cool. Uh, Baylor's turn. Uh, the... Baylor seeing this uh like spear of radiant light uh roars in uh distaste uh will make a long sword attack against Grim, thirty three to hit. Yeah, that's it. Uh twenty two slashing, sixteen lightning. Twenty and sixteen. Uh and will turn to Kalaris and get over here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Get over here! Get okay. over here! Uh, that is a 29 to hit. 
Yeah, that hits. Uh, strength saving throw, please, as you take 13 slashing and 7 fire. Oh, that uh, you are pulled 25 feet towards the Baylor. That's fine. Let's let it know it just pulls its doom towards yeah. it. Yep. Oh, uh, I also I also forgot the um, the cultist who is carrying on the floor is incinerated. Oh, oh god. Oh yeah. By <laughs> that the poor guy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I feel again. I feel a little bit bad. Not bad enough to actually feel bad, but I feel a little bad. Was standing next to a Baylor. He should have known. <laughs> like he, sh he should have paid like... attention yeah. in his demonology classes with the cult. There's yeah. not much standing involved. No. <laughs> Just lying there. Let, let this be an indication. This is what normal people would be facing in the situation you currently find yourselves in. Instant incineration. <laughs> While you are here slugging it out like heroes. Yeah. It's almost as if we're um, heroes. It's almost as if we're heroes. Uh, yeah. We're the baddies, definitely. We're the baddies. So, uh, Masters of Cruelty will... One will have an aerial battle with Elizabeth. Uh, and fail horribly. 15 okay. and a 13. Uh, yep, both miss. Uh, and one... Uh, I guess one will turn to the dragon, because the dragon is probably the biggest threat. Uh... Uh, 17 and a 26. I think the 26 will hit. Yes, it does. Uh, 15 piercing and... Oh, wait, hang on. I took that from the HP, but there's still temporary hit points. Uh... I have an idea, which is kind of a dick move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excited oh, to like try it. it. I like it already. Uh... Unless it's being a dick to us, in which case I don't like it. Oh, and... Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's the end of that creature's turn. Kalaris. Uh, okay. Do I... I don't want to ask. Do I take damage at the beginning of my turn or its turn? Oh, yes. You take the beginning of your turn. Okay. You take I want eight to. fire damage. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's it's not um, a lot of fire damage. Yeah, it could be... Like, it could be a lot worse. I just don't want it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's little, see. Damage, little damage numbers yeah. like that add up. I'm not... Think about it. It's already oh. 28 fire damage to things near it. That 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 is a, a good point. As a reminder, if you kill the Baylor with the special proc of Freedom's Tongue, it doesn't explode. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you disintegrate yeah. Hydras in Destiny; they don't get the self destruct. <laughs> well, if it fails its save. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is it an if. Fail that save. It doesn't fulfill that save. How much has it been hit, or like how bad is it looking? I suppose. Um, from what I can tell? It's been hit a couple of times, but it's still—it's a chunky boy. It's a chunky boy. Okay, I—I I think I'm gonna swing at him. Um, I am gonna step a little to the side so that I can get some flank. Flanking is that close enough for, for enough? Uh, one one more for flanking. for flanking. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, he sealed his own fate by pulling you there. Let's take some swings. Hello. Okay. Oh hell yes. <laughs> Okay. Nice. I'm just might. Oh yeah, it's a smite. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving some small slots for this, guys. Um, okay, wait. So, okay, hold on. I have a lot of dice to roll all of a sudden. <laughs> there's okay. So there's the radiant from the sword, which is six in total. No, yeah, sixty-eight. Hold on. Uh. Okay, so that's from the sword. That's okay. including the, the crit one. Yep. Um, I'm going to... Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I'm going to 4th level smite it. So I'm assuming it gets the extra. It does. So it's... Oh, God, okay, wait. <laughs> A lot. Maths. How many dice? My brain is melting and I'm trying to do math. <laughs> 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 I'm trying so hard. Um... Okay, five, six? Yeah, so it's 12 to 12 to 8. I did that right, because it's yeah. a fourth level. Yeah. 12 to 8. Get his ass! I, I just fucked up that typing. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's looking kind of rough now. 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yes, I believe that is all I can. Okay. Uh, the Glimstalkers will continue to attack the targets of their riders. Uh, that is against Elizabeth, a 10 and an 11. Does not hit. Uh, and against the dragon, 17 and 17. Uh, Temerity. Uh, I think Temerity will go do, do, and get flanking. And yeah, same again. Please and thank you. Who would have uh, thought Temerity would be here? Final battle. Who would have thought? I indeed. Did. What? <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Kind of cheating. Uh, oh, okay. So that is nine plus thirteen plus eight. Uh, did she not get advantage? Uh, oh, yes, she did. Uh, thank you for reminding me. So I'll roll that three more times just in case. Uh, okay. No, still, the second one still misses. Uh, so that is. 22 and 8. Okay, the rider's looking pretty rough. Uh, Hayasa will. Uh, oh! Oh, <laughs> she can use Frightful Presence, but uh, it, they're, they're all immune to Frightened. Uh, so she'll just go Bite Claw Claw. Oh, crit on the bite! Nice. nice. Uh, okay. Um, cool. She snatches the rider off and just crushes him in her jaw. Uh, and then uh, promptly proceeds to swat the uh, bat out of the air. Nice. And uh, roar in triumph. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons, except we don't kill the dragons. We make more. Uh, cool. <laughs> and most well, so far, so far we've we've killed one dragon, made a kind of dodgy deal with another dragon, and now we've got yeah. a dragon who's a friend. I don't yeah. wait, this deal wasn't dodgy. It was, it was just dodgy. It wasn't it that was dodgy. Bit, I mean, I'm not saying it was super dodgy. I'm just saying it was a little bit dodgy. It yeah. it may or may not bite you in the ass later. I forgot yeah. about the silver one. I was thinking about um Versastris. <laughs> No, no, not Versace. Oh, but I guess it's Vers Vers Versace. Versace is not a dragon. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah no, I, I meant the white my dragon. Brain, my brain's melting. <laughs> I meant that yeah. young white dragon. Oof. Uh, yeah, and with that, we're at the top of the initiative round, so we will take a short break. And many, you can DM me while I go to the bathroom. Oh, yes. <laughs>